everyone thanks for coming in for a video i'm so glad you're here to open a jewelry jar with me now this is just a regular good old-fashioned very expensive jewelry jar i still have a few bags to open from my wonderful subscriber maria and we will get to those later on this week those again I, as i said will take me a little while to get through all of them plus i received another fabulous gift in the mail from another subscriber full of beautiful jewelry so I can't wait to show you all of those but I'm really curious about the ones that my husband got me a couple of weeks ago and those were three bags one at 89 and this one is 79 and the other one that's left was also 79. I'm really curious about those plus I've got one for 39 $39 not too long ago, so we want to get through those as well, only because I want to know if it's worth going back to the one that I found for, 30, for $39, because that is pretty cheap, but I want to see exactly what they put in it. You just never know what they're going to put in these things, so especially when it's a new store, and so I'm really curious about seeing what they put in those, and that's why I'm putting a little bit of a, of a kind of interspersing a little bit with the gifted ones and then the ones that I actually purchased myself. So welcome to the channel, guys. I'm so glad you're here. We are here to treasure hunt. That's what we do on this channel. We sit and we gush about jewelry that I find at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales. The estate sales are really kicking up a few notches here and there too, but a lot of them are starting on Friday. And I work Friday, but I am taking the day off this coming Friday because I have a doctor appointment. <laughs> So maybe I'll go and try to find a few, but that's what we do here. If you enjoy looking at jewelry, enjoy treasure hunting, please be sure and subscribe. The subscription button is on the right of your screen. Always a free subscription. And if you'll hit that bell, you'll be notified every time I do a live video like I am right now. And I can actually see you in the chat or when I do a pre-recorded video. And you can always leave comments and concerns or any kind of questions or anything like that or information about any jewelry we find because many times I don't know what I'm looking at many times you do so please share your knowledge it's greatly appreciated I decided to switch up the cloth today just a tad <laughs> because I was tired of looking at that pale color and it's just picking up uh, the dirt from the jewelry these this is a, a dirty job guys but somebody's got to do it so let's get started with the 79 dollar jar it's actually bad i do i think i still have one or two real glass jars around here somewhere guys i will bring you those as soon as i can i may still have some authentically glass ones but that's what's here in this huge bag we're going to just slice it up in just a second i'm going to start by showing you my rings people have always asked to see my jewelry so i'm going to show it to you so that you're not curious as i'm flashing it around looking around at the other jewelry okay so i'm wearing a beautiful persian turquoise grape garnets and white uh, or colorless topaz ring set in sterling silver i'm wearing a jade turquoise and lapis set in 18 karat white gold i'm wearing my wraparound rings that i always wear this is a gift from makeup zombie this is one i found at a thrift store this is a turquoise i cannot turn my my hand very well <laughs> it still aches from my fall but this is a turquoise ring that i have owned since i was a teenager so to say that it is vintage is an understatement really love it and one of my most prized possessions all right, let's get started and let me just say hi to a couple of people 34 people in the chat oh i forgot to remind you always give it a thumbs up as soon as you walk in the door anytime you watch one of my videos don't forget to give me a thumbs up it really helps grow the channel and gets the um, the videos out to more people so please do that i really appreciate it and uh let me see who's here tracy and carrie hi miss carrie sanja i think i saw vanessa as well as margaret Thank you for being here, Miss Margaret. Hi, Miss Maria. She's here at La Laugh, Love, and Polish. It's my wonderful subscriber that I'm still getting through her stuff. I'll probably pick up with one of her bags this coming week. And then I'll open that other beautiful gift from another wonderful subscriber. Subscriber named Roxanne. Anna's here as well. Sanja, Linda, and uh, is it Jenner? Matson or Jen, I'm sorry. Again, my my glasses fail me. I haven't had a new prescription in about five years. Is that too long? I think I need to go get another one. Hi, Becky, as well as Bug Boy Studios and uh, Miriam. How are you, Joan, Leona? Guys, if I fail to say your name, Melissa, how are you? It's not because I want to. 
uh, ignore you, it's because I'm trying to get through the jewelry. Because <laughs> these bags usually take me an hour to get through, so I hope you have an hour to spare. I know I do, because I find this quite relaxing. Just chit-chatting with you guys in the chat and looking through this bag of goodies is such a mood enhancer. I think I got a similar bracelet in the last jar. Let's see some things just tumble out. Here. This little big bracelet. Someone said it was some kind of seed, but I thought it looked like that coral. I can see that popping out. I'm loving that bangle. Gosh, some things are popping right on my lap. I think I see sterling there. Oh, an apple. An apple earring popped out. How's the angle, guys? Is it too far? Too close? What's the deal? Let me get a little closer. All right. And uh, that's a little enameled apple. That's kind of cute there. i got to watch where things fall. Okay, because I have trash cans here and everything, and many times I've gone to throw out the trash. Every time I throw out the trash, I check it now because things fall in there. <laughs> I have a little trash can below me. All right, this looks like sterling as well. Mm, not sure. It looks like it could be marked there. Good, good, good. And this one is marked, but it's missing the little prong. What a shame. Interesting. That'll have to be scrapped. I love this bangle. This is cool. This looks like a designer piece. I don't know. It's super heavy. It's geometric. It's a nice size, too. It's not too big. I can't tell you how much this weighs. It weighs an arm. I feel like I'm too close, guys. Let me just come up a little bit farther. Right there. Okay. It's like a Tiffany blue. Wow. Look at that um, little pinstripe there. I don't know. It's super heavy. It doesn't really, I don't know. A lot of Alexis stuff looks a little bit like, um, what is that? Lucite. So it almost looks glassy. This one has an interesting design. Look, it's like little geometric forms all around and round and then even pinstripe. I love it. This is a beautiful color. I'll put that right there for now. Here is a gold tone earring. I put the earrings aside. This is a silver tone earring with some faux turquoise, looks like. That's pretty. And this watch is not running. And it's very lightweight, so I don't think it's a really great brand or anything. The wing thing looked like Avery. No, no, this is not Avery. This is Mexican. Yeah, I can see that it says Mexico. And I don't know Avery to make designs like this, honestly. Yeah, it's Mexico. 925 TC something or the other there. Yeah, that's pretty though. This star is nice. Look at that. That's a nice earring. It's blue. That is cute. Oh, this is interesting. These almost look like those puzzle earrings that I got. Um one time and you could take them apart and use them either with just the hook a little bit more decorative than this and then add another embellishment these are really cool but these are silver tone and the ones that i had were sterling and they actually sold at my auction i do auction guys on facebook if any of you are ever interested in anything um like auctions my information is in my description box this is really pretty this is faux snake skin but it's a nice look, nice bangle. This one is worse for wear for sure. And probably going to leave a big mess there. Let me get some of that off of there. <sighs> Sorry about that. All right, this is a bent up metal earring. That was actually a very nice color. Too bad it's all... Sometimes these things get bent up right here in the uh, bag. This is a pretty crystal drop earring and then this looks like it was probably on a watch like those interchangeable things oh this is pretty this is a dyed shell and i guess you would wear it on that side again an earring that's single right now and these are the kind that uh, they're kind of like ropes beaded ropes you just kind of slide those on 
Oh, this is pretty. This is glass, toggled. I'm not sure if that's sterling or not. I don't see a mark right off the bat, but that is darling. I like that kind of animal print there. Very cool. That's a pretty bracelet. All glass beads there. The middle ones are like a crystal as well. They're kind of um, pink, I think. Yeah, they're pink and brown. You can see that there. That's pretty. I like that. That's a nice one. Oh, that's a pretty earring too. That's a silver tone. I like that too. We have a piece of a watch strap. Here's some Bollywood looking stuff. Bangle. Oh, this is a big heavy earring probably from the 80s. Looks enameled. Oh, look, we got some loose beads. This one, kind of these uh, lamp work beads. Save those for a bead lot. Okay, so we got a lot of little tidbits here. I'll put that aside. This one says um, Gruen. I think it says Gruen. Some kind of watch. Not working right now. Okay, more loose earrings. We'll put those aside, see if we match any up. That's a pretty one. Let's see what else I can toss out of here real quick. Kind of Christmas ornament or something there. Guys, I've really missed doing my heart to heart and my collections, but I can't tell you how much of a struggle it is to even comb my hair. <laughs> much less put on jewelry and makeup. So that's one of the reasons I haven't done them lately, but I'm trying to get back to you really quickly on those. That's a beautiful single earring. This was, wow, look at this brooch. And it is heavy duty. It says cabbie. You know what? What in the world is it? It's so interesting. I wonder if you could wear it as a clip-on at one time. Did it go on a jacket? How interesting is that? It says cabbie on. Have you ever... Very curvy. All the rhinestones appear to be there. The big one, they actually appear to be prong set and pave. Wow, let me know what you know about this. It's like a little deployment thing there. I don't know. But that is really interesting. Yeah, an epilet. Exactly. That's probably what it is because look at the way it, it probably went on some kind of a jacket. How interesting. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's a cute earring. I like this one. The tassel and the little animal print there. That's cute. I don't know. I still like tassels. And then um, this actually looks like a supply. Yeah, bits and bobbles, four-piece shell beads. So I'll put that in my shell. That's cute in my shell, I mean, a uh, bead lot. So, yeah, I guess that's the way they would sell that. Little bits for your craft jewelry making. And then we have a big giant tech 2005 or 8 or something. 9. All right. That's interesting. That looks like a Christmas ornament. This is pretty. This is very nice. This is on a magnetic type of clasp, which is very nice, not to be on a stretch because it really lasts longer that way. Look at those beautiful colors. Wow, everything represented here. Every color in the rainbow here. Look at that. And they are all square except for the ones in between. The little stations are like a little cone or something, donuts or something. Oh, I love that. That's beautiful. That is so pretty. Okay, then we have some silver hoops. And uh, hoops or bangles. Let's see what's in here. We did get these matched, so that's good. Those are cute. 
Oh, good, good. I, that's what I thought. Last time I wore, I wore, I used, a, I think it was a purple velvet one or blue. And I really like the way that looked with the background, but I haven't been able to find that piece. I don't know where I left that beautiful cloth. Look at this. It's like a little chunk of turquoise in there. That is so cute. This looks like a little piece of old tourist jewelry or something, don't you think? little nugget of turquoise, and that's genuine turquoise. Let me look at the chain. It looks like silver tone. I don't see sterling on it. At least not on the clasp. But that's definitely real turquoise. It's so cute. Okay. And then these were huge, huge, and kind of heavy, actually. These are new um, hoops. These hoops are kind of not so big. <laughs> Silver tone. Very light, too, so those look more comfortable. Oh, here's some pretty tassels, and these match. These just need to be, somebody said a curling iron or <laughs> flat iron would fix these up when they come out wrinkled. Or messed up so that's cool let's see how it's popped in the chat 66 people here guys don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so Barbara how are you I'm so glad you're here cabbie's nice yeah they do have nice things I love their clothing they have a nice clothes line a clothing line It was a nasty break. It's killing me. <laughs> the pain has gone everywhere. I mean, I can't, I can't even describe to you. I can, I have to like reposition my hand just to write. Okay, we got a little hippie thing going on here. Peace and love. Stretch bracelet on that. Then we have a interesting bangle. I think it's just silver tone. Kind of heavy though. I don't see any marks right off the bat. Could be just silver tone. Wait, wait, there's a mark right there. Or is it a seam? Let's see what it says. It's just a seam. Yeah, that's just a little seam. Silver tone, bangle there. Chico's. Chico's has the most unique designs. <laughs> They really do. That's pretty. And they do use usually gemstones and leather. They don't scrimp on their, their um, what do you call it? <sighs> I can't even think. They don't scrimp on their findings and all of their, um, like these are real leather. Very nice. Can't think of the word. I'm so out of it these days. Those are pretty. They are not for you. What, Chico's? What is this, Vera? Sisters. Oh, how cute. It's a little locket. That is so pretty. That is really pretty. It's, it looks like a locket, but they just kind of cover each other like that. It's got a little rhinestone, silver tone. That's pretty. I like that. The tassels, oh, <laughs> yes. I like them. Certain ones I do like. Here's another one. <laughs> Here's another one. Some of them are made nicer than others, though. This one has, I like the chain on this, though. But it looks like it's all knit together because that is the exact same color of the tassel that's in between these beads. And these are glass beads. That's really nice. Interesting colors on there. What is this? More. This was a, a, definitely some craft pieces in here to make jewelry. So I'll put these in craft lots like this and this and then that strand of beads. Oh, this is a nice earring. See if we can find a mate to that. We have some kid jewelry here. This looks like the Eiffel Tower with a star on it or something. Still tagged Paris 
sans nickel. And that's pretty. I'm not sure if that's sterling. Kind of looks like it. Single earring. Not for earrings. See here we got another one like this. Didn't we find one like this the other day? Someone said it was some kind of a nut or something. I thought it was uh, some kind of coral. I don't remember if it was yellow in the other bag. But now we have an orange one. Hey Miss Dawn, how are you? I hope you're doing well. We're just opening the jewelry. We're opening the jewelry, trying to relax. Trying to, oh, this is pretty. This is so heavy. That's a nice little drop. This is faux leather, but it's got an interesting look. I'm really loving all of this artsy looking sculptural jewelry lately. I've been hunting for it on eBay as well, trying to expand my repertoire. Did I find another one of these or it's the same one? I think it's the same one. Oh, I'm so glad you're here too. These tassels. What about these tassels? <laughs> I know Margaret does that little sassy tassel. Is it sassy tassel, right? That's what it reminds me of too. But I think I've had these in white. Those are beaded tassels. Oh, that's a pretty earring. Okay, we've got a couple of these. So maybe these could be earrings. They're very cute. Looks like they need a hook. They could be earrings or you could put them on a necklace. But I'm going to put them in a crafter lot. Oh, this is cool. This is really pretty. Silver, black beads. I like that little side embellishment there with an 80 stone. It's a little fashion piece. Charming Charlie's is what it says. CC on that. I like this already. That's really pretty. It's a cactus in gold. And I think it's just a gold tone. It looks like it has verdigris. But it's so cool. I could clean that off. I'd wear that. I want to go to the Southwest so bad. We were talking about traveling and things and in the chat earlier in Makeup Zombies channel. And um, yeah, that's what we were saying. And that's really what I want to do. I want to drive through the Southwest. Those three now. Four, quite a bit. Okay, we can make a whole necklace now. That would be cool. Trying to get this dirt off of here. Not dirt, it's actually plastic from that watch band. And I dropped something else. Let me see where it fell. Sometimes the best things fall. Tiny little earrings. It could be gold. You never know. Hey, Miss Carla, how are you? Yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to go to Arizona, New Mexico. That's what I want to do. And I want to go see all those beautiful Native American museums. I've been there, but very shortly. I was in New Mexico for one day, didn't see much. And it was a long time ago. All right, it's a little uh, lizard, and he's gold tone. I think he's a lizard or anteater or something. More of these. And then this, it, this little thing is pretty. It looks like a Brighton, but it's not. It's just a wannabe Brighton. Necklace. Your deserts are different in what way, Carrie, are they? Here's a copper bangle. This is nice. It's a nice good size too, not too big. I'll sleep with that tonight. It'll help me sleep better. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, I did see a stick pin. This is cool. Look at that. It's a turtle and it's tiger eye. That's pretty. It's gold tone. He's even got some little... They look like carnelian, the little eyes, don't you think? Can you see them? Look at him. You went to Tijuana a few times as a teenager? Not <laughs> no, not at all. No, not at all. 
Now in Mexico, well, you should see a lot of Mexico, but it's also different. I haven't seen that much of it. I've been to Guadalajara, I've been to Acapulco, Mexico City. But I want to go to like um, some really ancient, where a lot of the cultures are still thriving, the indigenous cultures. Yeah, it looks like it has carnelian because they're even in the rough. They look like little rough cuts on the eyes. Like Oaxaca. That's where I want to go. Of course, I want to go to Tasco and those little places around there. But here in the U.S., that's where I want to go. I want to go to Arizona and New Mexico. Look at this cool pin. That's enameled. Oh, my gosh. I like this. It's heavy, too. I cannot believe the struggle that I am going through just to lift up a display. Look how pretty that is. Yes, yes, it is. Look, it's like gold. I wouldn't mind going to Mexico either. Wouldn't I love that? I need that. But you know what? First, I want to go to the Southwest. <laughs> then I'd like to do that again. I'd like to go with my sister and just lay back, kick back on some beach. Of course, I want to go see the old the ones I just talked about first. Then I want to go to the beach again. <laughs> to uh, Playa del Carmen or something like that. Something spectacular. Oh, look at these. That's an interesting earring and, and kind of a brass. Very cool. Sits like that. That's pretty. Okay, we did get the match to this one. No, that's not it. Oh, well. It's in here somewhere. Uh, we got this one that I thought was sterling. No, it's smaller. Okay, we got a couple then. Exactly. Wouldn't that be cool? We should. Oh, that would be so cool. When's your vacation, Dawn? <laughs> Mine is on June 11th <laughs> starts. June 11th through... Um, uh, what is it? Early August, like second week in August, we go back. This is cute. I like it. It's stretch. Yeah, that's what I need to do. Gypsy. Oh my gosh, this is cool. Look at that. This looks like one of these things from mom. Um, my husband used to belong to a gypsy motorcycle club. Um, it looks like one of the little things fell off, but it's even the band is cool. This looks like, yeah, something made like for Etsy or something. Look, it's even signed Arden or Angela or something. This is real leather. This is so cool. I like it. It looks a little bit like that one Liz was wearing tonight that someone gifted her from my auction. <laughs> I like that. My mother used to call me a gypsy. When I was about, um, you know, school age, because I wouldn't take off the jewelry. She said, oh my gosh, you look just like a gypsy with all that jewelry. Like, I know, I know, but it makes me happy. More of these uh, kind of Bollywood bangles. This is pretty. This is glass stretch. I'm really liking the orange lately. It's just so cheery. It's such a cheery color, isn't it? I need orange. Sandals. Orange sandals. Oh my gosh, we get a match for these. These are so cool. If they were sterling, they'd be ten times cooler, but they remind me of those sterling ones I got not too long ago. These are really pretty. They're not heavy either. I'm wearing those very soon. Oh my gosh, evil eye earrings? Or warding off the evil eye, whatever they're called. I forget what the exact term is. These are nice. Look at those. Have you guys seen the commercials lately here on YouTube for a jewelry company? I think they come on right before my videos and other jewelry people's videos. And they sell nothing but this type of jewelry. This one actually has like a real eyeball. Looks like a real eyeball. Look at that. Lots of detail in it. 
Yeah, they do a lot of that. This is a nice watch. It's kind of heavy. I don't know who makes it. <laughs> okay, these are just some beads, and it looks like they were going to start a project and didn't get to finish, so that'll go in my bead lot as well. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, we got one of these. Are these for the gloves? I forget. No, what are these for? I know Carla knows. Carla, are you in there? And it's like a little key ring. I've seen a few of these, but I've never seen one with the actual little key fob or something. Or is it to hold your keys? And then you hook it to your purse. I don't know, but it's so fancy and cute. I forgot what they're for. This one's etched in everything. Excellent. Thanks, guys, for hitting that thumbs up. I do appreciate that. Another watch of Geneva, of course. Top of the line Geneva there. Tongue in cheek, guys. Tongue in cheek. People take me seriously. They really do. Okay, this is really pretty. Oh, you did? I, 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 we get them all the time in bags. Look how pretty. This is really sculptural and pretty. It's stretch. I don't know how long, how much life it has left in it, but isn't it beautiful? Nice. Very cool. More of these. This is a whole collection right here. We're going to have a project finished by the time this bag is done. Look at that. These are some cowboy. This looks like Hoss's old hat. Kind of cool silver tone earring. And I've got a worn out hair accessory here. It's going in a crafter lot though. We've got a marble. Oh my gosh. We were just talking about marbles. Who played marbles and beat the boys? I know I did. As a matter of fact, I had my marbles for the longest time. And when I met my husband, he, he was like, can I have your marbles? I found a marble. I'm still alive, though. <laughs> Remember my collection of marbles? <laughs> I still have a lot of them. Yeah, I know. You need to give them back. Here, but you can have my never, marbles. Never, <laughs> never. This was in the one that I brought it you? It was right here, yeah. You see? So I paid $100 for this marble. <laughs> almost, almost. More bangles, more bangles. No, these are earrings. Okay, they get a little mixed up. I lost my marbles. That's right. Robert we, caught them. We, Robert we, got them. He said he still has them. He's hiding them. <laughs> I used to buy this thing to nickel for... Okay, this is stretch, leather, and uh, faux turquoise. <laughs> oh my gosh. I hate when things fall out because then it turns out to be something I need to show you in... in uh, what do you call it? Updates. <laughs> These fell. And I think I had this one. No, I haven't seen that one yet. Here's a gold tone, I believe. It's, an, it's marked though. Let's see. Maybe it's sterling. My middle daughter loves it. It says China. Awesome. <laughs> Let me see what else it says. It says something else, y'all. It says coach. Is that possible? It does. It says coach. Coach like the handbag. That's so interesting. That's what it says inside. Coach and then China. It might be Verme. I don't see a 925 mark though. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's pretty though. Coach does make jewelry. Look. Isn't that cute? A little anchor. A little big on me though. Yeah, Coach makes costume jewelry. I've sold their little bangles for pretty good money on on Posh. Even though they're only silver tone, this is pretty. All right, we have not matched that many earrings up. I hope we match up a little more. Another ornament. No, this is a brooch. Oh, that's a pretty one. Look at that. It's kind of dimensional. A little Christmas brooch. That's cute. Lots of good enamel left on that too and some citrine colored rhinestones that's really pretty i'm surprised it's not marked that's a nice one 
Christmas brooch is always appreciated in the jars for sure. Here's a little band and a very worn out, rusted, recyclable um, hoop. This looks like it could be sterling. Let me check it. And it looks like either diamond chips or marcasite on this band. It does have holes or openings, I think. Let me see. It's a tiny little thing. I don't see a mark on it right off the bat, but it does look like sterling to me. My size, a little bit bigger. So that's cute. Here's a Abercrombie. No, Kenneth Cole watch. Here's a cute earring. That's pretty. That looks like silver tone. Another watch. It's like four watches so far. Oh my gosh, a little angel brooch. That one's pretty. Enamel. That one's marked. Looks like a, a new style though. AAJ is what it says. Copyright. Okay, let's stop out a few more things here. It's a big bag, guys. Another Christmas brooch just popped out. This one's pretty too. This one is missing some stones. Looks vintage. Still pretty though. That's very cute. I don't think I've ever found a flocked tree in the Christmas brooches. <laughs> okay, this one's worn out too from the band, but this one's actually running. <laughs> so we should probably find another band for it. Imitation leather. <laughs> okay. Three bangles that match. A little set here. These are metal. These are kind of cute. Oh, they're all intertwined there. That's pretty. Yeah. That's a nice look. And similar earrings. Oh, we did get a match on these interesting ones. These are very interesting. They kind of look southwest and then they just kind of look artsy or something brought those are really cute i like them they're not too heavy either so that's good we got those matched up another watch this one is honey i think it says honey on it yeah that's cute that one has a heart face not running and um no henry henny I don't know. It says something either Henny, Honey, something like that. More Bollywood style bangles. Plain silver bangle. An earring, kind of bent up. Christmas earring. And what does it say? Twirling. <laughs> Kids jewelry, twirling. Kind of worn out love twirling that's what it says put that in the crafter lot and we've got a whole lot of beads here i think this was a hairband and it's kind of outstretched and worn away so that'll be in a bead lot hey mike how are you a little infinity symbol here kids jewelry bff is what it says We've got paparazzi, still packaged. That's not bad looking. Looks like a little bit of um, imitation um, obsidian. It's actually kind of pretty. Okay. What is this? Oh, this is cool, a dragon. I don't think I've ever seen a dragon brooch. That one's cool. I have never seen a dragon brooch. No mark on it. Very cool. Let's 
Very nice. I like those unique brooches. Here is a nice tree. Looks like sterling. I think it's a tree. No, it's some kind of a Celtic symbol here. Finally, some sterling in here. We didn't find any other sterling, right? Let's see what it says. It says N-O... Yeah, it's like a Celtic tree of life or something. I don't know. 4 O N A O N. And I love the chain. It's a snake chain. It is 925. And this is Mark 925 as well. And really pretty. I've never seen anything like that. Let me know if you know anything about that kind of a symbol or mark. Very cool. But those look like Celtic knots of sorts, don't you think? Let me show you the, the mark back there. AON or 40A or something like that. So that's nice. Got our money's worth there. It's nice and hefty too. It's not lightweight at all. That's nice. Okay, more beads. These actually look a little bit like check glass. I got a bag not too long ago with a whole lot of check glass. They're very interesting. I'm not sure though about these, but they are different. Okay, there's a couple of strands here. Here's another one. These are pretty. Let me know what you think about them. These are especially pretty. They have kind of girl. They look like uh, almost like tinsel swirling through there, the paint they used on it. And then this one you can see different colors in there too. That's really nice. Uh, to me, it looked like a tree of life, but I'm not sure. It looked like a tree, but it's not. I think it's just some kind of Celtic knots. But it looked like the shape of a tree, definitely. Um, this is a, I don't know, Justice, I think, or I don't know what it says on there. Not running either on this watch. Let me see who else popped in here. Lavender Pearl Vintage. I'm glad you're here. And who else? Said hi to Mike. Thank you, everyone who's here. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Debbie Glauber, how are you? I'm so glad you're here. I appreciate everybody popping in. Be sure and hit that thumbs up as you walk in or before you leave. This is a silver bead. This one, does it have a jingle? No. Okay, there's like two earrings. I don't think it's silver. I'm not sure. It has a really dark patina to it, but it just could have been silver tone there. A little stretch. These are nice. I've seen these before. They're kind of like constellations or something. But I've got I've had them in sterling before. It's another little hoop earring. Here's a glass pendant. You get these quite a bit on these kind of what do you call this? Ribbon. Black one here. These are pretty. No, not this one. These. I think they're earrings. They're really pretty. Oh, these are really pretty. These are like a frosted glass. And the uh, top of them are some kind of glass too. They're in gold tone. They don't seem very heavy. I love these. These are super pretty. They almost look like um, some kind of coral at first. Look how precious. I love those earrings and their gold tone. They're very nice. I almost thought they were that Live and Ingrid or Ingrid and Live, I forget. It's a very expensive designer brand. I think they do things in sterling though. That's kind of like the designs they do. We've got a, a Respire. Respire. Hippie bracelets. 
and got some more of these drawstring bracelets. This one's pretty. I'll put all those in the hippie lot. Then we have some yellow hoops. Very thin little enameled metal. More of these kind of costumey Bollywood style bangles. What is this? This looks like it belonged on something and they turned it into an earring. That is so cool. Not very many matches though. Another earring. I well, I did find no. I found one in Maria's bag <laughs> that she gifted me. That was the last Avery I found. Yeah, y'all need to keep your fingers crossed. More of these little doodads everywhere. Oh, this is a hair accessory too. Kind of fancy. And another stretch in black. Oh, these are cute. I find so many of these and none of them are matched. And I think they're so cute and so 80s and lightweight. They could easily be worn without too much discomfort. And I rarely find the matches. I need matches. I need mates. This one looks like it's missing some rhinestones. I can't quite tell because look, they're actually not covered. They're see-through. They're clear. They're backed with nothing but a bezel setting. How interesting. Hey Perla, how are you? Another one of these things that go on the watch for interchanging. Some kind, this is probably from Hunger Games or something. I don't know, some kind of bird. More earrings and pieces here. Don't see, oh, this is a piece of a chain. Crafter pieces popping up everywhere. Hi Linda! Here's another little earring. More stretchies. This is a nice little hoop with black rhinestones. Oh, look at this one. This is cool. 80s color blocks. Look at that. That's darling. Wish we had that one. Oh my gosh. These are the cutest button covers. I see these a lot, but I've never seen one like this. How cool. People are making things out of these, though. I think they're making rings. I don't know. I heard someone talk about that. They're very sought after in the crafter community. These are crystal beads. A little outstretched, but very nice glass beads. Another earring. I like this earring. All right. Lots of loose beads coming out. Let's see what else pops out of here. What is that? It's like a tie pin. A little leaf. Maple leaf, I think. It, yeah, it's like a little pin back brooch. Gold tone. Alright, let's jump out the rest of the bag here. Maybe we can get out of here before midnight. Thank you guys again for popping in and hanging out with me. I really do appreciate it. Okay, here we go. Oh, I like this already. Got a little cross with rosary style beading and a verdigris color. Play on that. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. I love this. Very nice and antiqued as well. And it drapes right on top of the other like that. That's really cute. Thanks for hitting that thumbs up, guys. 85 people here with me today. I hope the rest of you just take a minute to go to the ch to go below the screen there. Leave the chat for a second. There are two thumbs there. Always choose the one going up, pointing to heaven, because that's the one for nice people. Hit that one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. And hit the bell while you're over there, because that will notify you whenever I go live or upload a new video. Oh, look at this. This is one of those wraparound watches. I love this. This is actually real leather though and very nicely made. These little studs or whatever they're called are very nicely made. Gold tone. That's cool. Look at that. Yeah, th these usually there's the cheap ones are staple. These are rivets, red leather. Very cool. 
And is it is it Geneva? No, I don't think so. Looks too nicely made. No, this is yeah, it is to Geneva. Yeah, Geneva's on the cutting edge of fashion, I tell you. <laughs> but this is like nineteen. Uh, when did Bad come out? What was that? When did the 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 album for Michael Jackson's Bad? What year was that, guys? Eighty four. Something like that. That's when everyone was wearing that stuff. Okay, this is missing a lot of rhinestones, so this will go in a crafter lot. Could be easily repaired, but likely people will just pull those rhinestones right off of there. 1984, yeah. That's when those styles were really popular. Especially with the wraparound, remember the wraparound belts? Everybody had their belt wrapped around like three times. Yep. Because he did. <laughs> Okay, this one, they put some earrings there that kind of matched it. Yeah, they're brown as well. Okay. And it's a little shell necklace. It's a little worse for wear, though, so I'll probably throw that in a crafter lot. It's a nice piece. Look, it's even got like a little blister pearl there embedded. You were in middle school. Wow, you were young. You're young. I had, I think I had my second child, but yeah, my second child was born in 84. This is so cool, guys. Look at this watch. It's actually a stretch. I like that. I have to clean it up, but it's cute. <laughs> is he joking? Let him, let him say it. It's okay. He can dream. <laughs> I don't know how old he is. <laughs> this is pretty too. It's a really nice bangle heavy silver kind of brushed <laughs> hey we outlived michael poor thing <laughs> that crazy life okay these are so 80s everything was interchangeable i forgot to show you some beautiful things from or maybe i showed it in the last one from maria that includes some interchangeable jewelry look at this onyx or pearl your choice that is so cool. Hi, Teresa. I'm glad you're here. This is a nice one. I see these a lot, too, but some of them are, mm, and this one's pretty cool. I like the colors on that. <laughs> and is this wood? No, this is acryl acrylic and tangle. There it goes. Okay, this is one of those graduated bead ones. I like to stack these up with other ones and kind of get some long ones and just you know stagger them all up in there i like that look sorry about that I'm trying to move you back a little bit sometimes you seem like you're too close okay what else is here does this go on here no it's an earring this is pretty these are gemstones I hope these earrings come up in the other bag. We're down to one bag from Robert's venture into uh, finding me some. This is a brooch. That's pretty purple. Kind of wire. A wire look on that. Purple rhinestones. That's interesting. This is just an acrylic bangle. Put that in a crafter lot. This is a lot of dirty jewelry in here, though, guys. More things. Earrings. More things fell to the floor. Let's see what fell. Oh, there's stretch bracelets. Little stretch bracelets popped out. One has an infinity on it. And, wow, look at this. This is just uh, plastic. Looks like metal, though. A pile of no matches over there, y'all. This is a nice one. I like this hoop. This is a piece of nothing. These are like little huggers. Again, interchangeable. Black or white. Ebony, ivory, that kind of thing. Okay. 
Oh, this is cool. Oh gosh, for the goth, for the goth and, and some. <laughs> this is so cool. Look at that. Look at the way it drapes. So it would sit like that. Rhinestone cross. Oh, it's a little crooked. I'd have to pick it up, hopefully not break it. But I like that. <laughs> wow, that has to sit like that, but it's a choker. Amazing. Amazing stuff. Okay. A wooden kind of barrel beads here. That's interesting too. A bear. Heavy bear. Faux stone on that, but he's pretty. He's very hefty. Yeah, you could put that on your forehead for sure. This looks like quartz, but it is acrylic and it's a stretch. And then this is pretty. This one broke, totally cracked, said love on it. So that's going into a crafter. Quite a few broken pieces in here. I have to tell him to tell that lady to cut it out make better bags next time but not bad we got a couple of sterling pieces still going in here what is this saying fido frio frio hmm i wonder if that's a tourist thing from the frio river i think it is because this looks like a river rock yeah it's got a heart i like it i'll put it in my rocks that's cute yeah it's probably a river rock So earring backs, some little imitation diamonds there. Oh, this is a pretty one. This one's very pretty. This one has gold and silver tone bead balls, and they are, that's pretty. I like it. Actually, it's rose gold, white gold, and yellow gold tones, silver tone. That's really nice. I like it. It's very long. So that will fit like that. And there, yeah, three tones of gold there. Very cool. It's a nice look. And then this popped out of there too. I like this. It's a little sunflower bar, just a gold tone as well. But that's a pretty look. I like that. That's really nice. More tidbits here and there. I don't know what this is. Made in the sun. Now, what does it say? Made just for you. I don't know. Some kind of a crest. And a tie bar. Or is it an earring? It's an earring. It's a little arrow. That's cute on a chain. <laughs> a chain arrow. There's a website called Ruby Lane that sells high-end vintage and antique estate jewelry. Yes, there is. Yes, that's a nice place. Oh, these are pretty. And they're matched. Wide hoops, silver tone. Here's a cute ring. It's a little bow enameled with rhinestones. Just a costume piece as well, but that's cute. Put that over there with the coach ring. We've got some pearls. These are... On a, they have a pendant. That's a pretty pendant. They are genuine seed pearls. They look like they just put them on there. I don't believe it came with that pendant because this looks like a vintage piece. And then they put that pendant in, in on that. It looks pretty together. I like it. Very heavy pearls too. So that's a cute look. Thank you. I just did my nails again because I did them yesterday and then I took a nap and you know what happens then. So I have to do them again. More bangles. I like this one. It has kind of a faux pearl on there. Enameled. I like this one. Didn't we have? No, we had an earring that matched that. But these are missing some rhinestones. So I'll put these in crafter lots. Okay. 
Look at that. Wow. That's interesting. Who makes this? This is probably a $200 necklace. People make the craziest jewelry. Then they give it a really uh, obscure designer name, right? And they're like, oh, no, I haven't heard of that. But, wow, yes, of course I want it. How much is it? $200? i will take it. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> On a rope. With more beads and a, and, a, and a name. It says nature. Okay. And here is a cute earring. This one looks vintage. Clip on. It, well, it's true. It's so true. That is such a cute earring. I love it. It's clip. I don't see it. Well, there is a name. Let me see what it says. This one says Napier. That is so pretty. Gosh, I hope I find the other one to that. I thought it was a brooch. Look, that other thing had earrings. There's one anyway. That uh, pretty little necklace. I like that necklace. And look at this. That one that's on pearls has earrings. I hope we have a match, though. I only see one. Here's some more... Um, Mystical jewelry with the evil eye, warding off of the evil eye, and the eye on the hamsa as well. And that is a stretch. These are glass beads, and I think imit imitation hematite. So that's a nice bracelet. Here's a pearl stretch with uh, infinity as well. Sand dollar, this is pretty enameled that's very cool and we did get the match on this earring <laughs> they are bent out of shape i gotta get the other one and straighten it out here it is so this is a cool set once i get it fixed i like that i like those bars like that more single earrings more single earrings tassels and backs here is a coil Kids jewelry there. I have to start another kids lot. I sold the last one I had. All kids jewelry, a big jewelry jar. Sold that at my auction. Again, if you're interested in anything you see here, guys, I don't sell directly on my channel, but feel free to email me and uh, we can talk business through my email. And I also hold a Facebook auction every Saturday at 5 p.m. Central. And all that information, this is a bracelet. Or is it an earring? It's an earring. All that information is in my description box. No, it's a bracelet. There was an earring tangled up with it. <laughs> That's so cute. It is a bracelet. Look at that. The, the earring that was caught up in it was the chain arrow thing. So we got that one matched. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, look at this. A fish. Oh, I love it. It's a brooch. Enameled as well. I think it's a koi fish. With rhinestones and some kind of harlequin design on that. That's interesting. More bangles. This one's enameled. This one looks like um, looks like dyed abalone because it looks kind of blue. Could be mother of pearl and abalone dyed. This is pretty though and it's on silver tone. Not too big. And then this is silver tone, little heart charm. I'll probably put that in the kids' lot as well. It's a little lightweight. It's pretty though. Kind of looks like a Tiffany style bracelet with that single heart. And what else? Oh, we did get a match on these red ones that were so pretty. Get over here, crystal earrings. So a few of the earrings did match up, not all of them. And let's see what this is. Lots of little earrings here. These match though. They're kind of copper color. These are interesting. They're long. There's a little palm tree. 
another alligator or whatever that was. Oh, this one was pretty. I like this one. That was a nice dangle earring. We did get that one matched. The match is there somewhere. And we got these glass ones matched up too with the matching pendant that someone put on pearls. So that was good. Yeah, this one right here. Then we got that one matched up too. Some of these are getting matches. Not all of them, and there is lots of loose beads and things in here. But not bad. I did get one sterling piece. I got some very interesting costume, possibly check glass and other interesting beads. Lots of cool pendants. Gla so glad you joined me, guys. I do appreciate it. I am going to do a quick giveaway. I'm going to give away a jewelry bag tonight. So I want you to do a little guessing game with me. I love when you guys stick with me all night. These are long videos sometimes. I hope the stream was not too bad today it's been kind of crazy when i go live it's on saturday every saturday dawn at 5 p.m central so that's really early for you i guess it would be three o'clock your time two o'clock your time mm -hmm. all right so this is a guessing game um today the first one that i see in my chat and again please understand the lag is crazy it's what i see on my screen okay <laughs> that wins it's the first one that i see with the correct answer we never fuss and fight over jewelry it's so uncouth and just so unnecessary and that's kind of what makes me not want to do giveaways sometimes but i still have to because i just enjoy it <clears throat> but i'm going to give away a jewelry bag and that will be a lot of wearable jewelry for you coming in the mail for free if you can tell me of the bracelets that i'm wearing on this hand and i don't know why i chose this hand <laughs> On this hand, right here, I'm wearing some beautiful turquoise um, Native American jewelry. And um, many of them acquired, well, like I showed you the ring, that's, I've had that since I was a teenager. But all of these have been acquired lately. I want you to tell me of the turquoise, one, two, or three, and sterling, one, two, or three. Again, I'll number them, one, two, or three. Which one of these is actually not turquoise and not sterling? One, two, or three. The first one that guesses it correctly will get a free jewelry jar, bag full of jewelry in the mail when you give me your when you give me your address <laughs> and your name. All right, so thank you guys for participating. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up on your way in or out of all of my videos. Watch my old videos as well. I know that lately I haven't been posting as much, but it's only because I can't, uh, like I said, I can't have the time sometimes, and it's really taking me longer to do anything, including brushing my hair. All right, so let's see what our guesses say. Keep guessing if you want. <laughs> I think I just answered Dawn's question. And um, let me see. Thank you, Leon. I'm so glad you popped in. I appreciate you being here. And let me see. Number three on... Oh, no. <laughs> yes, I think it's 3 o'clock, Dawn, your time, because it's 5 Central. Now, granted, I'm always late, so 5.15, let's just say 5-ish. I'm usually there at 5.15, and I think I even made it to 5.20 this last time, so forgive me. All right. Hi, Adrian. We just had a giveaway. We're still guessing. Um, the first one that could guess that, uh, and it's beautiful regardless. You can't tell which one. To, in my opinion, they are just gorgeous. I love them, and I acquired them all at auctions or eBay and so forth. Okay. And we have, let me see who our fat, first guessers were. So I see a lot of numbers, guys, and I sure appreciate you participating and being gracious in the chat with everyone, including those that won or lost. Just kidding. You'll cut a B for a free gift. <laughs> and then you give it away, Don. You never keep anything anyway. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it was a good bag, wasn't it? Number three. You know, I keep saying number three. You're looking about the. T you're talking about the time. All right. I have number. One, number two, number one, number one. It is indeed number one. 
It is indeed the first one. One is the one that is not turquoise, not sterling. These, the rest of these are definitely genuine Native American. This one was over polished, and I, I'm trying to get it to. I didn't polish it when I bought it. It was over polished. When I bid on it, it was not over polished, but they sent it way too polished. But it's beautiful nonetheless. And this one as well is from the 70s. All right, this is the uh, imitation, imitation turquoise and imitation sterling. Lovely though. And who was the one that said number one first? I think it was somebody with initials. Is that correct? LJ or something like that. Can we all go back and look and see? First person that guessed one is correct. It is number one. That was LJ right after Dawn said, just kidding. So I don't know your name, and uh, if you'll write to me, and my email is always in my description boxes along with all the information on joining my auction group over on Facebook and everything. So just write to me at Thelma Hordes, as in hoarding, thelmahordes at gmail.com. I will send you a free bag full of jewelry because um, that's what I like to do to thank you guys for tuning in. I never announce my giveaways. I like for everyone that comes to my channel to come to the channel because they enjoy the videos, not to win things. But my uh, gratitude is just enormous and I do appreciate every one of you have a wonderful week I will wait for that email and thank you again guys for sitting here with me while we look through the treasure bye